Rivers are one of our most precious sources of water and at Northumbrian Water we've been working hard to forge partnerships to protect and enhance those river catchment areas in a variety of different ways. We hope this short film will just give you a little bit more flavour of the kind of things we've been doing. The aim of our catchment approach is to protect and improve the quality of the rivers from which we abstract water so that we can consistently provide our customers with water that's safe and wholesome to drink. We employ catchment advisors across our area and part of their role is to sample the rivers at various points across our catchments each week and this creates a strong evidence base to inform the delivery of the catchment advice that we give. All laboratories are accredited for testing the wide range of substances found in water, including pesticides, nitrates uh, and colour or dissolved carbon. The results of these analyses on samples of water from the rivers and reservoirs in our region are used by our catchment advisor to provide guidance to farmers and growers about how to reduce losses of these substances from their land. This is some of the equipment that we use to test for really low levels of pesticides in waters in our region. Our methods of testing have been designed to look for minute traces of colour and individual pesticides in the water. For example, we need to be able to detect pesticides at less than one part pesticide in 10 billion parts of water. The speed of turnaround of samples is also important as this enables our advisor to establish the link between pesticide use, recent rainfall and the levels that are found in our river and reservoir waters. Here in the northeast, we have a huge operating area. We go all the way from the Scottish borders down to the River Tees. I'm the catchment officer for this patch. Much of the water that we abstract in this region originates from upland sources. So one of the big problems we have is with water colour, which comes from the peaty catchments where we get our water. Peat is very rich in organic material and when that breaks down it releases organic carbon which when dissolved in the water gives the water its tea-like colour. We've been working with Northumbrian Water now since 1999, I think we first started with them, and there we started uh, looking at some of their data. So we've done a number of projects in the field at their water treatment works and the lab. They've sponsored students, they've sponsored doctoral workers, so research assistants. Tease Colour Project, that has been then focused on bringing together people throughout those catchments to tackle the problem of water colour. And so we've been handling some of the research and some of the data but that means that there's been a number of partners, be it from gamekeepers and landowners through to the area of outstanding natural beauty, and then us as the university uh, sort of at the research end. So over the past six or seven years, we have been undertaking a massive peatland restoration program in the North Pennines, and Northumbrian Water have been a key partner from day one, really. We have sat down and looked at the entire bog in the North Pennines AONB, we have looked at sites and areas that are of interest to Northumbrian water in terms of extraction and with the thinking that peatland restoration can benefit water quality downstream. So we essentially go around to sites and we do peatland restoration work on them. We, we do grip blocking work, which is a filling in of ditches, and we also do bare peat restoration work. Essentially that is about revegetating the peat so it doesn't wash off anymore and the water coming into the reservoirs is cleaner. I think one of the unique things about Northumbrian Water is unlike a number of other water companies, they don't own the catchments from which they get their water and so therefore somebody else owns them. and that They have to work with those people then to actually get the better quality water whilst actually also realising the, the aims of those landowners, be it you know, sheep farmers or grouse moor managers. And so they can work with a range of people, which includes the university, of course. We obviously do have some lowland catchments as well, and obviously there's a different issue there, but more to do with the things that they're putting onto the land rather than what was there naturally. We do work closely with a lot of partners, so we tend to organise events in conjunction with them or we will go along to events that others are organising. So, for example, we work quite closely with catchment sensitive farming. We recently held a pesticide workshop with them for a group of local farmers up on the River Coquit. Um, I also try and get along to a lot of agronomist meetings. Um, if they're already hosting something which we know farmers will come to, that's obviously a very good opportunity for us to get our message across to them. By doing all the catchment work, it gives us 
our best chance to ensure that the water quality in our rivers and catchments is of the highest possible standard. If the water quality is of the highest standard, this means that when we abstract the water from the river, it reduces our cost to treat that water and hopefully in the longer term, there's the possibility that those savings will be passed on to our customers. Hopefully that's shown you how some of our work is helping to protect water in the natural environment and how important these partnerships are to protecting water quality, not only now but in the future.